From the modern capital of Abu Dhabi to the oasis of Al Ain, from the rocky landscapes of Ras Al Khaimah and Fajairah to the bustling city of Dubai, along with the traditional emirate of Sharjah and the smaller emirates of Ajman and Omar Quain, the landscapes on display are all distinctive. Most importantly, the types of businesses and industries present in each part of the country differs greatly. We have been very much fortunate since the establishment of the UAE. The leadership has focused on the economic agenda from uh, the start, since 1971. Uh, the UAE economy is the second largest economy in the Arab world uh, at the present time. Uh, the the uh, GDP of the UAE has reached almost 419 billion US dollars. This is really an indication that uh, this economy uh, has uh, really grown and developed. Uh, and uh, we are very happy and very lucky uh, with the way uh, this uh, economy has been also diversified uh, with uh, oil contributing uh, roughly 30% to the GDP right now. Abu Dhabi remains by far the largest emirate with a long shoreline and vast expanses of desert. Abu Dhabi Emirates and Abu Dhabi city is the capital of the UAE. Abu Dhabi economy today uh, in the form of its GDP or aggregate demand makes up 65% of the UAE aggregate economy. There are several sectors within the economy that drives the economic growth. Energy, of course, is one of the sectors that has driven the economy in the past and also it will contribute to driving other sectors within the economy. Dubai is well known mostly for its many free zones that offer attractive structures to foreign companies setting up in the UAE and for the quality of its infrastructure. Dubai has everything uh, from the business community who want to come here to start a business to the logistics and also people who want to come here for work and to be in a very safe place. Sharjah offers a large number of cultural events throughout the year along with traditional heritage and values. Sharjah is a modern emirate with a twist. We place as much focus on culture and education as we do on the economy. We also invest heavily in human capital. This diversified economy has laid the foundation for sustainable, positive growth. What makes Sharjah really special is our focus on culture, arts and education, which makes it an ideal destination for visitors and investors alike. Sharjah is considered the cultural heart of the UAE. Ras Al Khaimah is home to several solid industrial players, with a strong focus on the construction industry. Ras Al Khaimah has earned a reputation as a gateway for businesses across multiple industries to access the world's most dynamic market. Uh, Ras Al Khaimah's economy continues to grow, uh, attracting uh, more investors uh, for uh, real estate, uh, services, hospitalities and uh, educational sectors. Fajera is well equipped with a large seaport to rival the major global shipping hubs. The port of Fujairah located outside the state of Hormuz gave it very strategic location for the um, shipping uh, line business of um, bunkering services and ship chandlers is considering Fujira as one of the largest areas in the world. And while the smaller emirates of Ajman and Umar Quain appear more discreet, each offer attractive free zone status for new companies. Ajman's main business sectors are retail, wholesale, contracting and construction, industrial sector. It also makes its best efforts to support the SME. UAQ has natural islands, and looking to the future, Omokwen is looking to develop both the industrial and the tourism sector. The UAE economic landscape can now be defined by its core values. Prosperity, connectivity, productivity, well-being, innovation, stability, and vision for growth. The location of the UAE is really spot on between Asia and the Middle East and as such a lot of companies have established themselves in the UAE as trade companies driving the link between uh, Asia as well as the Middle East. It's a very strong country from a financial wealth perspective. 
and a lot of people from large centers like London or the US have actually moved to the UAE to join these financial sector companies here. The other good thing is that today we have more than 50 banks in the UAE operating, so it's a very, very well uh, served market. It clearly creates a lot of opportunities for banks. We believe that connectivity has become a basic human right. The infrastructure in the UAE is one of the most advanced in the world. In telecommunications, wireless and fiber optic networks are the enablers of connectivity among people and among objects. The UAE leadership strongly believes that this digital transformation is a driving engine for economic prosperity. And if asked, where is all this going? We are simply reminded of the most noble and meaningful objective of all, making people happy. Productivity is really important, both at a company scale and at a country scale. And therefore, to be a cost-effective and productive operating environment is extremely important when people make investment decisions. The UAE provides a great enabling environment for productivity through its IT infrastructure, its logistical infrastructure, talented workforce, and therefore provides a really competitive global investment environment to do business. The economy of the United Arab Emirates is one of the strongest economies in terms of growth and diversification. The insurance sector is a key component of the economy, which has contributed 2% of the GDP. The insurance premiums exceeded $9 billion in 2014, grown over the last five years of a rate of 11% of the written premium. The UAE Insurance Authority is continuing to develop the technical, legal, and financial frameworks to promote the competitiveness of the sector. تم إنشاء مركز محمد بن راشد للفضاء بهدف دعم الابتكارات العلمية والتقدم التقني في الإمارات العربية المتحدة ويعمل المركز بشكل أساسي على تنفيذ وتطوير أبحاث في مجال الفضاء الخارجي وتصنيع الأقمار الصناعية وتطوير النظم ذات الصلة وتوفير خدمات التصوير الفضائي كذلك سيعمل المركز على الإعداد والتنفيذ والإشراف على كافة مراحل مهمة الإمارات لاستكشاف كوكب المريخ The United Arab Emirates security sectors has achieved many developments in accordance with the best international practices. We are working now to upgrade the financial markets to develop status over the next few years. The Securities and Commodities Authority has benefited from its membership in major international organizations aimed at protecting the foundations for proper and fair conduct of business like disclosure, transparency, and sound governance practices. The UAE Vision 2021 is established as a vision for growth. The real estate development sector has a noticeable contribution to this growth. The most important pillar that the real estate market concentrates on is sustainable environment and infrastructure. To achieve an economic growth for the real estate market, these goals have to go hand in hand between the private sector and the governmental sector. The UAE uh, has uh, put actually the number one as a target. And number one, it means in every field. It doesn't mean in a single field. It's a challenge for all of us in the government, actually, and in the different sectors, both the federal and local governments. We only are happy with the figure number one, and that's where we're going.